podcast right now. Josh Kozlowski is outside. That's a nice, now that's a nice bad weather story. I agree. And actually, something I learned over the weekend, Michael, I did a Facebook Live Saturday night. I talked to my other uncle that you interviewed once before in the past, his twin. He lives in Andover, Mass. A friend of mine lives in Peabody, Massachusetts, north of Boston. They have what's called snow farms. They don't have anywhere to put the snow. They have to bring it somewhere and melt it down because it's not the room like we, the streets we have here in central New York. Anyways, here we go. Weather alerts for tonight. Check out the map. Winter storm watches to our north. Jefferson Lewis, Oswego, Northern Cayuga, and Wayne counties Wednesday night through Friday afternoon. And that's for the potential of some he heavy weather, including snow, potentially some ice and maybe some wind too. So that's what we're gonna be watching next several days. And I would imagine for the areas of the South, we'll be picking up some watches or maybe some advisories with winter weather too by the weather service. All right, the big picture, we're quiet now. You can't even see where this storm system is yet, but I just drew a little bit here. The low is gonna develop to our Southwest here. It's gonna gather some Gulf of Mexico moisture, cold in the North and just trek right up to the Northeast and come right at us but we just don't know how much snow yet. We don't know who's gonna get the mix, but it's gonna be a messy midweek forecast. Here you go, the 10 day for tomorrow, February 1st, welcoming in with 40 degrees. Wednesday, Groundhog Day, warmer 46, much of Wednesday dry. It's Wednesday night into Thursday, potential for some snow over to maybe some snow, sleet and or freezing rain south and east of Syracuse. Friday colder near 20. The weekend looks mainly dry, teens and 20s, and into early next week, back around the freezing mark for many of those days. Michael. That'll feel just fine.